Welcome guys. Today we are going to see the generalized measuring system common elements. Let's see the various elements first. At first quantity to be measured is going to touches the primary sensing element. Uh, let's take ammeter as an example for better understanding. Here the measurement is current. Measurement means a physical quantity or it may be a property which is going to measured. Here we are going to measure the current with the help of a coil. The coil is the primary sensing element in the instrument. Next to the primary sensing element, we are having the variable conversion element uh, because sometimes the output of the primary sensing element is not suitable for measuring system. So we attached this one. If the system is ammeter means the variable conversion element is a magnet. Here nearer to the coil we attached one magnet that is going to convert the current in the coil into a physical moment as a deflection. Further it is connected towards a variable manipulation element. We are adding this because to boost the low level of signal into a very high level of signal. In ammeter transformer is act as a variable manipulating system. In some other instruments voltage amplifiers and uh, some gear systems is also used. These two systems are combinedly known as data conditioning elements. Okay, uh, let's move further. Uh, that is our data transmission element. It is the intermediate stage of an instrument. Uh, the main purpose of this element is to communicate or uh, transfer information to the next device. Uh, it may be a shaft and a gear assembly or it may be a rack and pinion or sometimes it may be a cable or a uh, antennas etc. The next one is data processing element. It is used for comparison of data. Uh, that is uh, we can able to compare the actual value to the uh, standard value. The final stage of an instrument is data presentation element. After all the conversion it will source the measured physical quantity into a human readable form with the help of a LED display or a pointer under the scale arrangement. Let's see all these elements briefly in a very simple and easy manner. The first one is primary sensing element. The quantity which is being measured makes its first contact with the primary sensing element. Here the coil is a primary sensing element and the quantity being measured is current. It receives signal of the physical quantity to be measured as input with the help of a detector. Then the signal is immediately converted into a suitable form. Uh, it may be a analog electrical signal or mechanical or voltage or a deflection or some other form with the help of a transducer. So that it becomes easier for other elements of the measurement system to either convert or manipulate it. Uh, as we discussed earlier, in ammeter, the coil which is carrying the current is going to be measured is the primary sensing element. The second one is variable conversion element. Uh, mostly the output of the primary sensing element uh, may not be suitable for the actual measurement system. In ammeter, nearer to the coil by placing a magnet, we will get a deflection due to the current passing in the coil. Here magnet act as a variable conversion element. That is by converting the current into a physical movement as a deflection. From the angle of deflection we can able to measure the amount of current. The variable conversion element is used only if necessary or it may not be used in some instruments. Keep in mind it is a very important thing the original information about the measurement must be retained during the process of such conversion. The next element is variable manipulation element. The main function of this element is it is used to amplify the level of output without any change in the original nature of the signal. Uh, for example in case of our ammeter if the amount of current is to be very small, so it is not causing any deflections in the reading.
so here we are using transformer it is act as a variable manipulation element it is used to increase the voltage this increase in voltage will make a deflection in the magnet similarly a voltage amplifier is also acting as a variable manipulation element in some other instruments also this variable manipulation element is used to remove the noise level in the signal if anything present the variable conversion and the variable manipulation element are together called as data conditioning element because they are used to obtain the signal in a pure and acceptable form the next one is data transmission system uh, the data transmission system is simply used for transmitting data from one element to another uh, also it is acting as a communicating link between the two different types of element in the measuring system the data conditioning element and the data transmission systems are together called as intermediate stage of an instrument a yes, shaft and gear assembly uh, cables wireless antenna transducers are a few examples of uh, data transmission elements after data transmission systems we are having data processing element it is mostly present in all type of uh, measurement systems it processes the data signal and produces suitable form output uh, it determines the instrument speed of response in output the main function of this element is it is going to compare the measured value with the standard value so that it will produce a record output level the final stage of the instrument is a data presentation element it is used to present the measured physical quantity in a human readable form in ammeter we are having a pointer and a scale arrangement uh, also led displays are mostly used in some uh, data presentation elements in many instruments if we want to monitor the output data means we can use a visual display at the data presentation element uh, if needed it can be recorded in a magnetic tape or in a uh, hard disk drive let's see the various measuring system elements in a filled system thermometer let's see the internal parts of the system it is a pointer this pointer is connected with the pinion and this pinion is having a contact with the rack and this rack is actuated with the help of some lever mechanism Uh, the lever mechanism will get a power from the board on tube uh, inside the board on tube we already filled some pressurized fluid if suppose the, the pressure increases means the board on tube will expand if the pressure reduces means it will shrink uh, it's like our uh, party whistle a thin hair spring is also attached at the uh, pinion gear so, so this will retract the pointer at uh, no load conditions it is the sketch diagram of the system temperature bulb this temperature bulb contains either a liquid or a gas filled system if it is a liquid means it may be mercury or gas means it may be a nitrogen gas this temperature bulb acts as a primary sensing element as well as a variable conversion element it senses the input quantity uh, here that is uh, temperature and, and converts it into a pressure build up within the bulb this pressure is transmitted to a capillary tube which act as a data transmission element with the help of the capillary tube we can able to transmit the pressure even up to 10 meters okay from the capillary tube a spiral bore down pressure gauge is directly attached this spiral bore down pressure gauge is acting as a variable conversion element which converts the pressure into displacement then this displacement is manipulated with the help of some linkages and gear arrangements this arrangement is acting as a variable manipulating element at the end the pointer and the scale indicates the temperature in the reading so this will be a data presentation element and uh, this is the block diagram of the system i have given a link in the description box if possible uh, kindly go through the video Def definitely that video will be very useful to understand the uh, working principle of this kind of thermometers thank you thanks for learning here You can.